Now, the first type of women that are likely to give you poor sexual experience are women who tell you they don't like sex. Now, we can't deny the fact that sexual satisfaction is very key in relationships because if it's just about the cleaning, the cooking, or the laundry, you can always pay someone to get that done for you. And also, even for the sex, if it's just about the ejaculation, you can get anyone to do that for you. But because you know you want to share a bond with the person you're having intercourse with, some level of emotional connection, that is why you find a partner, a woman you can call your own. So at least the experience will not just be just for the fun of it, but also there will be a bond and connection about it. I've mentioned it often on here that women might actually like sex more than men. So if a woman tells you she doesn't like sex, it means she has zeroed her mind not to like it for whatever reason she might have. But what this does is it will make you suffer for her personal decision, a decision she has made on her own. Because if you go ahead to date her, now it's going to look like you are always forcing her to have sex. She will always make you beg for it and sometimes she might even reject. And because you also want to be satisfied and you don't want to be going out there just, you know, having sex anyhow, you want to do it with your woman, you would always try to please her, try to make her accept you. And it will always look like you're forcing it. Sometimes she might be in bed with you and she will just be so absent. You can tell she's not even in the arts. She's just lying there like, oh, get down and let me get up. She's lying there like, oh, whatever you do, just do so. Let's just get this over with. And that's not really what you want as a man because you really want to feel the bond, feel the connection when you are having an intimate time with her. It's called intimacy. So you want to feel that intimate connection with her, but now she seems so absent. So a woman who tells you she doesn't like sex is very dangerous because she's really going to make you suffer, like I mentioned earlier. So it is better to go for a woman who has an open mind about sex, who is willing to learn even if she doesn't know and open to other suggestions and the experience as a whole. Now another set of women who would likely give you poor sexual experience are women who do not mourn. Now, morning is a way for women to show you that they're actually having a pleasurable time and enjoying whatever you are doing with them in bed. So if a woman doesn't want, there is no way for you to know that what you're doing is pleasurable to her or she's enjoying the moment. And also, it's going to be very awkward. Just imagine having sex with your woman and she's not saying nothing. She's not mourning. Her breath pace is not even increasing. And you are just wondering what is going on. It's going to make you feel really awkward. Feel like you are not doing something right. And sometimes it's not because you're not doing anything right. You're probably doing everything right. But that's just the type of woman she is. She won't mourn, she won't talk, she won't whisper things in your ears and make you enjoy the moment as much as she's enjoying it. What other way are you going to know that your woman is enjoying what you're doing if she doesn't mourn and say things to you? Especially when you know you're actually doing all you can, like you're doing your very best, you're putting in the effort and hitting it just right. But she's just laying there, saying nothing and not even mourning. Like I said, this is really going to feel very, very awkward. Now, women like this are going to make you feel like you're not doing anything pleasurable. And it's also going to make you not enjoy the whole experience. It takes away from the experience and doesn't make that moment enjoyable for you. And just imagine that this is a woman you would have to deal with for a very long time, sexually or for life. It's going to make your sexual life very boring and you're not going to enjoy it. So that is not the type of woman you want for yourself, my kings. Go for a woman who would actually mourn and communicate with you while you have sex with her. A woman who would tell you when you're doing it right, how she wants you to do it, the places you touch that makes her feel good. She would actually be in the moment with you and make your sex life very interesting. Now, another set of women who would likely give you a poor sexual experience are women who are lazy in bed. And I mean the women that would just lay in bed and watch you do everything. They would not even as little as caress your back as you do the deed. They would just lay there and watch you struggle. Like you do all this, you put in all your energy and you know sex is about the energy. 
the both of you really have to bring your hundred and be in the moment so the moment can be pleasurable and enjoyable for the both of you but if she's just laying there doing nothing she doesn't move her body unless you tell her how to move before she moves and even that she will find it very difficult to do she will do it like so slowly this is just going to take out the fun and the pleasure from the moment because now the woman is just making you feel like you're doing all the work and this is your woman someone you actually want to spend this intimate moment with you want to feel in the moment with her you don't just want to have the sex for the sake of having sex safe you want to feel that you are actually building a connection and a bond with your woman but when she's so lazy and doesn't do anything to return the energy you're giving her back it takes away the phone and it makes it very boring it might even make you to start feeling awkward because it's like why am i putting in all the energy and i'm not getting anything in return it takes away the fun now some of these women cannot even change styles they would just be there and watch you do the missionary style for as long as possible they would never be able to write you they would never be able to change different styles and make you, you know have different experiences they would not do that for you and like i said that actually takes away the pleasure from the sex so my kings, instead of going for women who are lazy in bed, please go for someone who is very active and will actually make you enjoy the moment. Another type of women who are likely to give you poor sexual experience are women who have phobia for sex. Maybe because they were raped, have had sexual traumas or have had bad sexual experiences with their exes. What this does is it creates this fear of sex in their minds and it makes it very difficult for them to actually comfortably have sex with you. So when a woman has been traumatized in one way or the other, she's likely to always shy away from the topic of sex or from the act itself. For these type of women, you will always feel this fear coming from them whenever you raise the topic of sex or you try to get intimate with them. And some of them might actually do it because they feel it's an obligation, it's their duty to satisfy you sexually. So they will end up trying to satisfy you. But you, on the other hand, might feel really bad when you sense this fear coming from them. Especially if she has told you about her trauma. Now you are going to feel very bad thinking that you are rekindling whatever traumas she has passed through. And also, if she haven't told you about her traumas, you would also feel bad whenever you come to her for intimacy and you notice that there is this fear in her face or in her entire demeanor. You're going to start feeling like your woman is scared of you sexually. And just imagine how that will feel when you think your woman is scared of you. You're just going to feel really bad and this might actually always turn you off when you want to get intimate with her. So for women like this, if you are not ready or willing to walk them through the healing process and through all the therapy they need to actually heal completely, then you just let them be and go for someone who doesn't have this phobia for sex because you can't live your life feeling guilty for someone else's day because that is what dealing with a woman who has phobia for sex is going to put you through the last type of women that are likely to give you poor sexual experience are women with low sex drive women with low sex drive are women who find it very difficult to be aroused sexually you can do whatever you want with them touch them wherever you know you can and even sometimes go down on them and they still wouldn't be aroused. These women are the type of women that you would touch all the sensitive parts of a woman's body you know and they will still not be aroused. If you want to know the sensitive parts of a woman's body to touch to turn her on, please see this video. So that's it for this video my kings. These are five types of women that are likely to give you poor sexual experiences. Please do well to ask questions when you meet a woman you would want to date or spend the rest of your life with when it pertains to sex so you actually know the types of women they are and if they fall in any of these categories before you make your decision. Please do let me know if you found this video interesting and informative as well. Do well to subscribe if you haven't done that already. Turn on the notification bell, like this video, drop a comment down below, share this video with your family and friends and see you in the next one.